Today's story is the story of Samuel. Hello, Francis John. Francis John. Francis John, can you hear me? No, you're practising not listening. Why? Then you won't have to hear anything you don't want to. Hmm, what if you miss something important, like, I've got a new jar of honey? You heard that. I thought you might. In our Bible story today, we hear about Samuel and how he learnt to listen to God when he was a little boy. Are you ready for our story today, the story of Samuel? Every year, Hannah went with her husband Elkanah from the town of Ramah where they lived to Shiloh to the temple so they could worship God. One year, Eli the priest was sitting at the door of the temple. Hannah came to pray. She was sad and crying as she prayed because she had no children. As Hannah prayed, she made a special promise to God. Lord or powerful, you can see how sad I am. Remember me. Don't forget me. If you will give me a son, I will give him to you and he will be yours his whole life. As Hannah prayed, her lips were moving. But as she did not say the words out loud, Eli thought she was drunk. I'm not drunk, Hannah told him. I've been praying to God and telling him all my troubles. Eli answered, go in peace. May the God of Israel give you what you ask for. Hannah went back home. Her prayer was answered and she had a baby boy who she called Samuel. When Samuel was old enough, Hannah took him to the temple. She said to Eli, I prayed for this child and God answered my prayer. He gave me this child and now I give this child to God. He will serve God all his life. Then Hannah left Samuel with Eli. Each year when Hannah came to the temple, she would see Samuel and bring him a new robe she had made for him. Samuel kept growing and what he did pleased God and the people. Eli was very old and Samuel was his helper. Eli's eyes were getting weak so that he was almost blind. One night Eli was lying down in his room and Samuel lay down in the temple near where the holy box called the ark was. Then God called, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, here I am. Samuel thought Eli was calling him. So he ran to Eli and said, here I am, you called me. But Eli said, I didn't call you, go and lie down again. So Samuel went back and lay down. Again God called, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. But Eli said, I didn't call you, go and lie down again. Samuel did not know God because God had not spoken directly to him. God called Samuel the third time. Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. Eli understood that it was God calling the boy. Eli told Samuel, go and lie down. If he calls you again, say, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down. God called as he did before, saying, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel said, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And God told Samuel lots of things. God was with Samuel all his life and everyone knew that Samuel was a prophet who listened to God and passed on God's messages to God's people, the Israelites. In our story, we heard how God spoke to Samuel, even though he was a child. When Samuel grew up, he kept listening to God and God helped him to be a good leader of his people, the Israelites. I wonder what God's voice was like when he spoke to Samuel. Do you think it was very loud or quiet? You may like to close your eyes and imagine what it was like.
and going to say a prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer too, please say amen at the end after me. Dear God, you taught Samuel to listen to you. Please help me to be a good listener to what others say and to what you want to say to me as well. Amen. What's that, Francis John? You've decided that being able to listen is important, so you're going to practice listening now. How are you going to do that? You're going to sit quietly and make a list of all the different sounds that you can hear. That sounds like a good idea. You're going to sit on your chair and draw all the things you can hear. I think I might do the same, but I think I'll sit outside in the garden. Well, thank you for joining us for the story of Samuel. We look forward to you joining us again soon. Goodbye and God bless.